हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ द एंटी फंगल ड्रग ग्रीसियो फॉलविन नाउ ग्रीसियो फॉलविन बिलोंग्स टू द हेट्रोसाइक्लिक बेंजोफ्यूरन क्लास ऑफ एंटी फंगल ड्रग्स इट इज एन ओरल एंटी फंगल इट इज यूज ओनली ओरली नाउ एज वी ऑल नो दैट फंगल इन्फेक्शन आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स सुपरफिशियल एंड सिस्टमिक Now, systemic fungal uh, infections affect internal organs of the body, like for example, lungs, heart, bones, etc. Now, Grisio fulvin is used to treat superficial fungal infections of skin, hair, and nails. Now, this type of fungal infections are termed as dermatophytosis or tinea infections. Now, let's understand mechanism of action of Grisio fulvin. Now Grisio fulvin is fungi static that means it inhibits the growth of dermatophytes dermatophytes are the fungi that cause tinea infection now as we all know uh, mitosis is a process by which a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells so cells multiply by the process of mitosis Now Grisio fulvin inhibits the process of mitosis in a fungal cell. Thus fungal cell division does not take place. So now in order to understand this look at this figure. Now these are the two figures. Now this figure depicts metaphase stage of mitosis. Now these are the two uh, centrosomes. Now each centrosome is made up of uh, two centrioles. the centrioles are shown inside the centrosome now each centriole is made up of microtubules now microtubules form these mitotic spindle fibers now very important you must remember that microtubules are made up of a protein called as tubulin so microtubules are made up of tubulin protein now microtubules form spindle fibers and spindle fibers are very essential for the division of chromosome now during metaphase these spindle fibers they line up or they align the chromosomes along a central axis after alignment on the central axis these spindle fibers they pull the daughter chromatids towards the opposite pole so that a single parent nucleus divides into two daughter nuclei now grisio fulvin binds to tubulin protein in the microtubules and interfere with their function so that in the presence of grisio fulvin these spindle fibers they fail to pull the daughter chromatids towards the opposite poles so either the chrom uh, daughter chromatids fail to move apart and reach the opposite poles or they move only very short distances thus the nucleus does not divide and mitotic division is inhibited and thus grisio fulvin is fungi static it inhibits the growth of fungus now in addition to this Grisio fulvin gets deposited in the keratin forming cells that is in the cells of skin hair and nails so grisio fulvin binds to keratin in the newly forming cells of uh, skin hair and nails and it prevents fungal infection in all these new cells so tinea does not infect the new cells and over a period of few weeks to few months old tinea infected cells are replaced by the new cells and thus grisio fulvin requires long duration of treatment of around 6 to 12 weeks and this can lead to non compliance by the patient so this is the mechanism of action of grisio fulvin Uh, now let's discuss pharmacokinetics of uh, grisio fulvin now as discussed grisio fulvin is administered orally uh, now another important characteristic of uh, grisio fulvin it is poorly water soluble so very poor water solubility of grisio fulvin causes irregular absorption of grisio fulvin from the gastrointestinal tract 
Now, absorption of greasiofulvin can be improved. It can be improved by taking it with the fats. For example, uh, by taking the greasiofulvin along with milk. And also by microfining or reducing the particle size of the drug. So, nowadays, ultra microfine preparations of greasiofulvin are available. Now, in addition to this, as we have already discussed, greasiofulvin deposits in the cells that synthesize keratin, that is the cells of skin, hair and nails. Now, it concentrates, apart from this, it concentrates in the cells that are infected with the tinea, again the cells of skin, hair and nails. So, it effectively treats tinea infections. Then, uh, risiofulvin is largely metabolized by methylation and it is excreted in the urine. Plasma half-life of uh, grisiofulvin is 24 hours, but it is retained for many weeks in the cells containing keratin. Now, another important feature, grisiofulvin is an enzyme inducer. It increases the metabolic activity of uh, cytochrome P450 enzyme. Thus, metabolism of those drugs that are metabolized by this enzyme increases. For example, it increases the metabolism of uh, drugs like warfarin. Then uh, uh, there is increased metabolism of uh, oral contraceptives. So, therapeutic effect of uh, these drugs is either reduced or it is completely lost. Another important drug interaction of grisiofulvin, uh, phenobarbitone reduces oral absorption as well as it also induces metabolism of grisiofulvin. So, this causes fall in the plasma concentration of grisiofulvin and this may cause failure of grisiofulvin therapy. So, these are certain very important pharmacokinetic features of grisiofulvin. Uh, now, adverse effects of uh, greasiofulvin. Now, headache is a common complaint. Then, uh, gastrointestinal disturbances can also occur like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. And uh, sometimes, central nervous system symptoms and uh, peripheral neuritis. Then, rashes and urticaria can also occur. Now, greasiofulvin can cause photosensitivity. And exposure to sunlight, even for small duration, may cause skin rashes, itching, redness, sunburns, etc. It can exacerbate or it can cause worsening of uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. Then uh, gynecomastia is also reported. Then uh, grisiofulvin causes intolerance to alcohol. So, uh, the effect of alcohol increases and it may cause a disulfiram-like reaction. Then, uh, grisiofulvin is uh, contraindicated in uh, patients that show hypersensitivity to grisiofulvin. It is contraindicated in patients with uh, hepatic failure and porphyria. And uh, grisiofulvin is reported to cause fetal abnormalities and thus it is contraindicated uh, during pregnancy. Uh, now, let us understand uses of grisiofulvin. Now, grisiofulvin is very effective in the treatment of dermatophytosis. Dermatophytosis are the tinea infections of skin, hair and nails. Now, as discussed, uh, grisiofulvin is given orally. It is not to be used topically. Now, initially, now this is very important to understand. Initially, majority of localized tinea infections are treated with the topical agents. Now, oral antifungal therapy is reserved only for those cases where these superficial tinea infections, they are not cured by the topical agents or we can say they spread even after the application of topical agents. So, superficial tinea infections are like for example, tinea corporis. Uh, this is also called as a ringworm infection. Now, if the ringworm infection occurs throughout the body, throughout the body surface, it is called as tinea corporis. Then tinea crurus. Uh, this is the tinea infection of groin. It is also termed as joke itch. Then tinea manum. It is a tinea infe infection of hands. Then tinea pedis. It is a tinea infection of foot, also known as athlete foot. So all these tinea infections are treated with the topical antifungals, like for example 
clotrimazole, meconazole. Now, if severity of these localized tinea infections increase or if they are not cured with the topical agents, then only oral antifungals are prescribed. Now, oral antifungal therapy with the griseofulvin is uh, primarily required for tinea ungium, also known as oncomycosis, that is the tinea infection of the nail. Now, treatment of uh, first choice in uh, oncomycosis is uh, oral terbinafin, then uh, oral uh, itraconazole, and the third choice is uh, griseofulvin. Another infection is uh, tinea capitis, that is a tinea infection of scalp and the hair shift. Now, it is treated by uh, oral griseofulvin uh, and it can also be treated by oral terbinafin. Now, very important to understand that for oral antifungal therapy in tinea infections, oral azoles like uh, fluconazole, itraconazole and lilamines like uh, terbinafin are preferred over griseofulvin because these agents are equally or more efficacious uh, compared to griseofulvin and they have a shorter duration of action. So, nowadays griseofulvin is not widely used clinically and it is reserved for uh, selected cases of tinea capitis. So, this is the pharmacology of uh, uh, griseofulvin. Uh, now, let us understand uh, how to solve questions on griseofulvin uh, with the help of a few examples. Now, in the university exams, uh, you are usually asked two types of questions. Long answer questions, each question uh, for 5 to 10 marks and short answer questions, each question for 1 to 2 marks. So, now let us first discuss long answer questions. Now, the question is discuss pharmacology of griseofulvin. Now, the same question can be asked this way. Write a short note on griseofulvin. Now, it is very simple. Now, you can answer, you can frame the answer of this question by first uh, writing about the class that uh, uh, griseofulvin belongs to the antifungal class. It is an antifungal drug. Uh, then you can say it is a heterocyclic benzofurin. Uh, after that, you can explain its mechanism of action. Uh, if you have sufficient time uh, and uh, if the question is for 10 marks, you can explain with the help of diagram. Otherwise, you can simply write it. Uh, then you can talk about important pharmacokinetic features, uh, then talk about the adverse effects, therapeutic uses and if the time permits, then you can write on the drug interactions and contraindications also. So, so this is how you will uh, discuss pharmacology of griseofulvin. Then a few multiple choice questions like uh, first question, metabolism of griseofulvin is accelerated by uh, this we have already covered in the pharmacokinetics that uh, metabolism of griseofulvin is accelerated by phenobarbitone. Then which of the following antifungal drugs interfere with mitosis? Now amphotericin B, no, because amphotericin B is a polyene and it forms pore in the fungal cell membrane. Then terbinafin, no, it inhibits the synthesis of uh, ergosterol, uh, ketoconazole again, it also inhibits the synthesis of uh, ergosterol. Griseofulvin, yes. Uh, Griseofulvin interferes with the fungal cell mitosis. This we have already uh, studied. Then uh, griseofulvin is effective in uh, dermatophytosis. Uh, this also we have studied. It is effective only in, it is used only in dermatophytosis. It is uh, not to be used in vaginal candidiasis or blastomycosis or aspergillosis. It is used only in the superficial uh, dermatophytosis or the tinea infections. Then uh, griseofulvin belongs to antifungal class. It belongs to heterocyclic benzofurin. Then griseofulvin is administered to topically no. Yes, it is given or orally, IV infusion no, intramuscular no. So this is how you can answer. Uh, long answer questions as well as uh, short answer questions or multiple uh, choice questions on griseofulvin. So, this is uh, all about the pharmacology of uh, griseofulvin. Please note information provided in this video is meant only for academic informative purpose. Uh, if you wish to use uh, griseofulvin or if you want to treat uh, uh, 
uh, fungal infection then you must consult your physician uh, and if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video